Flat Earth Proof 6 Polar Climates If Earth were a globe, then it should follow that both the Arctic and Antarctic regions would share similar conditions and characteristics, such as comparative temperatures, seasons, length of daylight, etc. But in reality, the two regions are almost as different as night and day. To begin, let's address the prime influence on climate, the sun. While on a ball earth, you'd expect the sun to behave very similar at both poles. In our investigation, we find this is clearly not the case. For instance, the longest days in the north are much longer than those in the south. Dawn and dusk also occur differently in these two regions, with twilight coming and lasting much longer in the north, sometimes for over an hour, compared to similar southern latitudes where twilight always comes and goes quickly, sometimes in a matter of minutes. This is exactly what is to be expected from a flat plain, with the sun circling above and around the central pole in 24-hour cycles, traveling steadily between the tropics every six months. Sticking to the sun, another contrasting point between the northern and southern regions is the midnight sun, a distinctly arctic phenomenon occurring every year during the summer solstice, where for several days any observer significantly far north can watch the sun travel in circles overhead, not setting for upwards of 72 hours. Meanwhile, in Antarctica, corresponding with the Arctic Midnight Sun, the Royal Belgian Geographical Society notes that from May 17th to July 21st, the sun doesn't even rise above the Antarctic horizon. This is of course because during those days, the sun is at his innermost cycle, revolving tightly above and around the northern center. Though scientists will claim that the midnight sun is also an Antarctic experience, there are no uncut videos demonstrating this, nor are any independent explorers allowed into Antarctica to either verify or refute this claim. But that issues a whole other can of worms further demonstrating that the central northern regions receive a more benevolent climate than their southern counterparts would be the example of Iceland. At 65 degrees north latitude, Iceland thrives with 870 native plant species and abundant animal life. Compare this to Georgia Island, which despite being a whole 11 degrees closer to the equator than Iceland, at 54 degrees south latitude, is nearly devoid of any ecoculture, having only a measly 18 native plant species and virtually no animal life. In fact, Captain James Cook lamented that he was unable to find there a single shrub large enough to make a toothpick. But to crown it all off, Despite the Arctic regions enjoying moderately warm summers and manageable winters, where the average annual temperature is minus 15 degrees Celsius, Antarctica is by far the coldest place on Earth, with an average annual temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius, where it never even warms enough to melt the perpetual ice and snow, and it also holds the all-time lowest temperature ever to be recorded on Earth of minus 93.2 degrees Celsius. So investigate the subject for yourself and ask questions.